G'day guys, welcome to our Traveller game. This is just a short tutorial to explain the vector-based movement system that we'll be using for uh, some space combat situations, as well as some maybe uh, some ground combat situations where there are grav tanks and grav belts and that kind of thing. Okay, the basics of it are that we have a token over here to represent our spaceship's location. I've got a Viper from Battlestar Galactica over there. Um, okay, now just to give you an idea of scale, uh, if we're using a six-minute combat round like a Mongoose Traveller does, then each of these hexagons will represent about 650 kilometers. Over here we've got a vector token, or an inertia token. That shows where our spaceship is going to be next turn if we don't burn any thrust. So if we're just going to keep on drifting, the next turn our starship will be in, in that uh, hex uh, location. Now the basics of it is that if you want to maneuver, uh, we just grab a navigation token from over in the, in the token tab and for each hex away from the inertia token that we want our starship to be this turn uh, we burn 1g of thrust okay so if I if I want my starship to be here uh, this turn then I'll need to burn one two three uh, G's of thrust uh, in order to get there uh, now for the purposes of this illustration, we're going to assume that this spaceship has 6 Gs of thrust available to it, like most 10 ton starfighters. Okay, so the, the first step is to put your navigation token down where you'd like your spaceship to be this turn. The next step is to place down a new vector token, or inertia token. I'm just going to put one down here. And the idea is that we put this token uh, exactly uh, twice as far away from the navigation token. So we just measure this up. So that navigation token is three hexes away from our spaceship. So we want our new vector token to be six hexes away. Uh, so we draw a line. We're making sure that the navigation token is exactly halfway between our starship and our new vector token. Okay, uh, next we actually move our ship um, to the same location as our navigation token. And we turn the rear of our ship towards our old navigation token. Now that just represents the fact that we've turned our ship uh, to burn its thrusters and uh, we're sort of moving around a little bit like um, the spaceship does in the 1979 Asteroids arcade game. Or, or if you've watched Battlestar Galactica, you'll see the Vipers sort of swinging around and burning their thrusters backwards in space like that. So it's that more sort of hard science fiction uh, way of moving around in space, uh, a little bit less like Star Wars, a bit more like, uh, I guess, Newtonian physics in uh, real life. So, okay, so after after we've done moving, we just delete our old tokens, and there we are. So, so if you, you'll notice there that our starship is sort of facing down and to the left, but we're actually moving down and to the right. So we're sort of flying sideways and a little bit backwards at the moment. Now, this this whole system. Um, it can really be simplified if you don't really need to know which direction your spaceship is facing. Like if you've got a small craft that has weapons that are only facing to the front, or if you've got a massive capital ship with a spinal mount that again only has weapons that will fire when it's facing to the front, then, then this is sort of important to keep track of. But if you've got a ship that's just covered in turrets with a 360 degree arc of fire, then there's really no, no point in uh, keeping track of this business. Okay, now in uh, Mongoose Traveller, you use thrust points to do things in space combat. So, so again, this maneuver here would have cost, cost our trusty hero three Gs of thrust. Uh, that would mean if he had six Gs available to him every turn, that would mean he'd still have three Gs of thrust to either dodge incoming fire with or uh, to um, line up a shot. Now, if he wanted to line up a shot, um, and there's the line up a shot sort of move, in uh, Mongoose Traveller, then I would say that you could use uh, 1G of thrust to change your facing to any direction that you want. So so now, okay, our trusty hero, he's um, burnt 3Gs to change his direction, burnt another G to change his facing, and now he's still got 2Gs of thrust left to dodge incoming fire with. Okay, if there's any questions with that, um, just uh, send me a message. Um, it's, it's a little bit cerebral, but once you get the hang of it, it's really not too hard to get your uh, head around and get it into the game. Okay, thanks guys.